you see that very boxy arch over on the right. Uh, I think I mentioned it some a week or so ago, very briefly. It was in the background of some shot. And the port of Amsterdam. So it's one of those buildings, when I look at it, it seems to be filled with potential, dramatic potential. So there's one version where I see it and it's covered with these thorns, you know, this completely green and very dark and gloomy. And inside there, just above those zigzags, is a kid is held captive. And he's meant to become the king of the realm, but he, he doesn't want to do that. He just wants to go bowling. And he's in there and all these teachers and all these wise men and women are there trying to get him to believe that he should be, be king. And he just says, look, let me go bowling, please let me go bowling. And so that's one version. Then, of course, there's the other version where uh, this is the... Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'd mentioned the guy called James Bondios, the sort of secret agent from South America somewhere. I can't say the country is from for security reasons. But uh, a James Bondios situation would be this building, this arch here, would be the um, headquarters of some evil guy. I don't know why it's an evil guy. You know, the standard evil guy with the furry white cat. <laughs> Those cats are so lazy, so fat and stuffed full. So you've got this evil guy and he's there. And those zigzag bits would be the control center from where it control everybody's mind, you know, take over the world, etc., etc. But, of course, James Bondios would come to the rescue. He'd uh, be loaded up with gadgets from somebody called S. And he'd go in there and uh, deal with the bad guy. And uh, the world would be saved once again. And we could party until dawn and thank James Bondios. <laughs> for saving all of us, you know. Then, of course, you get to the personal versions where I am the evil person, though I personally wouldn't be, well, at least how I now am, I wouldn't be evil. I, wouldn't, I, I don't know, I just, it just, yeah, why would I hurt someone? Um, however, I would do things, so that it's not as if I wouldn't mess around. I'd definitely mess around. So, so I could be public enemy number one, but it wouldn't be because I actually hurt somebody. It would be maybe I caused some kind of jolly chaos, you know, got people. If I had mind control, I'd just get... <laughs> I'd have these moments when everybody in the whole city would just start dancing, you know, for like five minutes, really crazy dancing. They'd be absolutely free. And then they'd stop and they wouldn't understand why they'd done it, you know, and I'd do that. I would, it wouldn't be regular, it would just happen from time to time. So that'd be one of my um, schemes. Let's see, what else could I do? I don't know, but I mean, definitely do that one. But I just do, just muck around with uh, when people have a little too much authority. I think you forget that if you're in charge of a lot of people, you, you, you forget that, those, that all those people are individuals and there's a way... Um, I think higher-ups tend to look at the masses as a single block. So in my um, dastardly ways, I would be in that zigzag bit on that arch over there, and I'd just make sure there were injections, you know, at least every two weeks there'd be this injection of fun into the city, you know, it'd just, uh, it'd just be really cool. Anyway, okay, so enough of, uh, n enough <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> Hey, do you see the sun over there? Yeah, there's the sun. It's a bit cloudy. It was it was quite bright uh, an hour or so ago, but uh, I was busy. So, well, here we are, just peeking around and looking at the world, um, enjoying the water, of which there is plenty in Amsterdam. You 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 take it for granted. There's, everywhere you go, there's water, canals, rivers, stuff like that. And it usually, uh, when I had the time-lapse thing, I mentioned that it usually takes a tourist, a surprised tourist, uh, to help you notice, oh, yeah, there's a lot of water, and it is quite special, so that's Amsterdam. Um, yeah, all right, so that, that was it for now. Enough from me. <laughs> oh, no, I was, yeah. No. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to tell you what I was thinking. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay, it's just what I'm not going to tell you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, see you next time, and uh, enjoy the stripy sky. <laughs>